Situation urgent. Dirt to the left. Dirt to the right. Dirt above. Dirt below. Luckily, you have a secret weapon. New Mr. Clean, he's mean. He hates dirt. Hello, and welcome back to Brand Management, the show that explores the history of your favorite brand mascots. Today we take a look at Mr. Clean. In the 1950s, Linwood Burton was running a marine ship cleaning service. The cleaning products used at the time were known to cause severe health issues for their users. Fearing for the safety of his employees, Burton set out to solve this problem. Burton created a new cleaning solution which came to be known as Mr. Clean. Burton sold the product to Procter & Gamble, and within six months, it was among the best-selling cleaning products on the market. Harry Barnhart and Ernest C. Allen of ad agency Tatham Laird & Kudner worked together to create a mascot for Mr. Clean. They, of course, created Mr. Clean who was depicted as a muscular bald man wearing all white and one earring. His design has remained mostly consistent to this day. Mr. Clean began appearing in animated commercials in which he promoted the product's ability to clean everything including floors, stoves, diapers, and even dogs. In August of 1958, Mr. Clean was given his very own jingle. The song was composed by Thomas Scott Caden and performed by Don Cherry and Betty Bryan. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Floors, doors, walls, halls, white sidewall tires and old golf balls. Sink, stoves, bathtubs he'll do. He'll even help clean laundry too. Mr. Clean gets rid of dirt and grime and grease in just a minute. Mr. Clean will clean your whole house and everything that's in it. The jingle and its variations became a staple of Mr. Clean commercials. Mr. Clean appeared in commercials not only as an animated character, but also in live action. Spring cleaning? Yeah, I had a whole weekend shot. And with the Yanks playing tomorrow, a double header yet. You improved Mr. Clean will get your work done today. Throughout the 50s and 60s, actor Mark Dana portrayed Mr. Clean in commercials. This version of the character replaced the classic white shirt and pants with a full suit. This Mr. Clean also spoke, unlike the animated version, who has mostly stayed silent. Great stuff. Looks like I'll see the Yanks tomorrow after all. Thanks to you and Mr. Clean. Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. In 1962, a contest was held to give Mr. Clean a first name. The grand prize of the contest was a house. The winning name was Veritably, making his full name Mr. Veritably Clean. A Mr. Clean doll was released by Procter & Gamble in the early 1960s. In the mid-60s, Mr. Clean lost his smile as he developed a mean streak. New, mean, Mr. Clean. What made Mr. Clean so mean? Dirt. He hates dirt. Mean Mr. Clean hated dirt and frowned until it was gone. New Mr. Clean, he's mean. He hates dirt. I love him. By the early 1970s, Mr. Clean had returned to his friendly ways. A bizarre 1970s Procter & Gamble promotion featured election night coverage of Mr. Clean headquarters as a promotion for lemon-refreshed Mr. Clean. Often a leader, always a heavy-duty campaigner, Mr. Clean came to Philadelphia with a new image, a new formula for success, a new smell. 
the promotion ended with an appearance by a walk-around character of Mr. Clean himself. Mr. Clean continued to appear as an animated character in the following decades. Sometimes, though, they changed up the jingle. He hates the dull and streaky floor. He leaves. What shiny gleaming? Mr. Clean. Despite the changes, the original jingle always comes back. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean is known by different names around the world. He is known as Mr. Proper across much of Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. He is called Don Limpio in Spain and Maestro Limpio in Latin America. And in Italy, he goes by Mastro Lindo. In the 1990s, Mr. Clean appeared in a promotional campaign for Honda. If you own these Honda products, what will the neighbors call you? In 2005, he joined a collection of other brand mascots to promote MasterCard. Since the early 2000s, Mr. Clean has appeared in commercials as a CGI character. The popularity of Mr. Clean Magic Erasers has helped keep the character on TV. In 2013, a commercial depicted the origin of Mr. Clean. He was found as a baby, washing the doorsteps of some farmers. As a child, Mr. Clean had a special love for cleaning. And when he was old enough, he traveled the world learning more about cleaning. Hard to say what might have been exaggerated over time, but one thing's for sure. When it comes to clean, there's only one mister. In 2016, Procter & Gamble ran a contest to find the next Mr. Clean. The contest was kicked off in a commercial in which Kellen Lutz desperately auditioned for the role. It's just not going to work out this time. What are you doing? Oh my god, your hair. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Can you leave? Hundreds of potential Mr. Cleans auditioned. The winner was Mike Jackson, who appeared in promotions as the character in 2017. Also in 2017, Mr. Clean appeared in a commercial in which he danced seductively while helping a woman clean her house. Mr. Clean was revealed to actually be her husband. A few years later, the ad was brought back, but this time, Mr. Clean was revealed to be actor David Harbour promoting Tide. It's a Tide ad. In 2020, Mr. Clean attended the funeral of Mr. Peanut, alongside the Kool-Aid Man. Also in 2020, Mr. Clean appeared with a variety of singers to perform an updated version of his classic jingle. Floors, doors, walls, halls, streets from trough to cleans of all, grimy tubs and tiles will do, so your bathroom looks clean as new. Mr. Clean has been a staple of advertising and cleaning for over 60 years and is just as popular as ever. As long as there's dirt to be fought, Mr. Clean will be there to clean your whole house and everything that's in it. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Thank you for watching the latest episode of Brand Management. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe.